Hello, hello everybody. How is everyone doing? For me, let's just say I had a very emotional roller coaster ride. So, uh, I know this is going to be like one of those type of things, like when a video is being made in a certain month, it will end up being a part of the next month. Let's just say uh, today is uh, September, and then by the vi by the timing of the recording of this video, it will be posted in November. Why? Because I said in the beginning of my update that I will be taking a break. So it's a long story, just bear with me on that. I will be back hopefully soon, but for right now this is a pre-recording of me doing an action figure review, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Today, we got him. We finally got him in my grasp. I've been waiting for this dude for a very, very long time. I've been waiting for Mattel to make this figure, for crying out loud. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the good old, one and only, the WWE... Don't know what series this is, but I know this one's the Rootless Aggression Era. Eric Bischoff from WCW. Himself, ladies and gentlemen. Himself. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time in my life to get this young man in my grasp so I can have him in my stop motion, which I am probably working on soon, so it's going to take a little while. But however, let's go ahead and look at the back. So if you all remember this fine episode of, uh, of Monday Night Raw, let's just say uh, he had something up his sleeves. If you know what I mean. He sabotaged a wedding of Stephanie McMahon. If I'm correct. I know what happened in that specific episode. Even though I have never seen the episode. But I've seen clips of it on YouTube. So you have Undertaker. Which I already have. Which I'm going to be reviewing soon. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I might get him or not. I don't know. I might have to give him a huge pass. There are some action figures I have got to give a pass to. Slash won't be getting. But... It is what it is, though. But enough talking, you guys. Enough talking. We gotta we gotta open up this amazing, iconic wrestler slash wrestling character person. Let's just open them. I'm this, and I'm better than ever. I'm a nerd for making things better. Face, face, cause you're there he is. I had to do it. I had to do it. Sue me. I don't care. Sue me whatever you want. I do not care. Nothing will not phase me. Somebody had to play the good old classic. I am back and I'm better than ever. You got that right. It's Eric Bischoff himself. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this little handsome devil right here. And of course his classic pointer finger so you can do his little touching of his cheekbones that we all know and love. We need a man who knows how to touch his cheekbones. His good old cheekbones. Not his butt cheeks, you moron. It's his face. Also, I had to pull this one out, by the way, which was this little wooden card piece. Not card piece. Not card piece, but this little thing that goes behind your wrestler's like packaging. You have this awesome Scribble Scrabble WWE logo that just has rootless aggression on it, which is just so cool, which... I mean, I'm definitely keeping this, holding on to that, but just wanted to show that off real quick. So, of course, he has interchangeable hands, but before we get all of that in, let's just focus on this amazing figure. So, of course, you have double-jointed knees. He's got some nice jeans. Not ripped jeans, but regular jeans on. He's got a belt, uh, which is very, very nice. Uh, of course, you got this going on here. Ab crunch going up to here and all the way up there-ish. So that's pretty good. Leg rotation going on here. Very, 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 very good. Um, of course, you got to start off with the classic ankle pivot of all ankle pivots. I mean, come on. This one's a perfect ankle pivot. Eric Bischoff right here. This is just fantastic. And then, of course, you have his classic pointer finger. So you could just pull it down, up, swivel, or swivel this sucker around here. This is just awesome downright awesome i tell you um the head goes 60 degrees and then if you want him to wear his classic disguise you can do that which i will save in a bit in a minute so 
His arms go 60 degrees. Uh, of course, he has double jointed elbows for the first time, which makes this figure 10 times great. And he is the first time on the line, which makes perfect sense because. Oh man, I cannot wait to do some sick stop motion with this figure right here. I don't know why we haven't gotten this dude in the first place. I mean, I think, I think the, I think I'm just gonna say, I think Mattel, which is this toy company, Mattel. I think they nailed this figure out of the park. I guarantee you this. And let's just pop the hands off just really, really quick. And then if you wanted to give them like the the high five hands or the the seminal hands or the good old gator hands, well if maybe if his fingers were a little bit bent, then maybe he would do the gator chance. You know what I'm saying? You know, you gotta root for the gators instead of those <clears throat> those uh seminoles, if you know what I mean. Anyways <laughs> Um of course I'm gonna go ahead and just give them regular hands, of course. And they move pretty good, which is good. You know, nothing can't go wrong with the hands here. And then, of course, we'll finally get on with his disguise. Uh, he's he's kind of pretty much bald, and he's bald. And you just pop this sucker right in, and then there you go. Uh-oh, where's Eric Bischoff? I think he's he fired from WWE. Wait a minute, he has a mask on. It's still him. Yeah, and you can still move his head. Uh, he can't go up this much. He can look down about this much, so that's pretty good. So if you don't want to do that as his disguise, you can do that if you wanted to, which will make it ten times great. But, uh, dude, I'm so glad I had this dude in my collection. And this this dude looks legit, looks exactly like him. That is just awesome. Just awesome, dude. Oh, man. Of course, you have his classic microphone. Let's let him talk some smack. Why not? Just for some entertainment. Why not? I'll just go ahead and do that right now. So, you just, uh, you take the microphone and you squish it right in his hand. His classic Scribble Scrabble um, WWE microphone logo right here, as you can see. It's still an iconic microphone. Let's let him talk some smack. Why not? Let's do this. Today, I am back. I have told Stephanie McMahon I am going to take this Monday Night Raw show to a whole nother level. Stephanie, if you're watching this, I am so better than you. Why? Because I am back, and I'm better than ever. There you go. That's how it's done right there. And by the way, I found this figure at Walmart, which makes it ten times better and awesome. So, uh, ten out of ten. Mock my words. It's 10 out of 10. It's a great figure. I highly recommend you should get this figure. Why? He's Eric Bischoff. He's back. And he's better than ever. I'm still... <laughs> I'm still stoked right now for having this figure in my grasp. But this is just fantastic. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family if they love wrestling. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, y'all. Love you all. Peace out.